वेलकम कंपेरेटिव पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन Comparative public administration is the first major development in the post-war evolution of public administration. It aims at development of a more scientific public administration by building and strengthening theory in public administration. Comparative public administration stands for cross-cultural and cross-national public administration. It has two basic motivational concerns. Number one, theory building, and number two. administrative problems of developing countries farrell hadi described the period of late 1960 as the heyday of comparative public administration movement as rightly observed by nicholas henry public administration comparative public administration is different from traditional or american public administration in two respects number one public administration is culture bound ethnocentric why comparative public administration is cross cultural in its orientation and thrust in 1936 ld white observed that a principle of administration is as useful a guide to action in public administration of russia as of great britain or of iraq as of united states but later Robert Dahl in 1947 and Rick Waldo in 1948 pointed out that cultural factors could make public administration on one part of the globe a quite different animal from public administration on the other. The second view is public administration is practitioner oriented and involve real world various comparative public administration attempt to the theory building and seek knowledge for the sake of knowledge in brief comparative public administration has purely scholarly thrust as opposed to pro- opposed to professional while highlighting the significance of public comparative public administration fredericks asserted that american public administration should be viewed as a subfield because public administration is global in scope to quote riggs the new paradigm for public administration must be comparative that is global since the solution of problem to which it address itself will require increasing communication between scholars and practitioners in all countries the american dimension will be viewed as a subfield of practical aspect of broader subjects